Nose here. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Uh, hello, everybody. We just finished having an interesting yeah, conversation. And now my doctor calls. And uh, doctors always call at the wrong time. Don't your doctor call at the wrong time? They always, always call when you're in, in busy doing something. You're about when you're to watching be, us. Yeah, doing, they're doing <laughs> something. Or you, you're on your phone looking at something interesting, and then somebody calls. That's why, you know, people always say, why you got so many devices? That yes. way, that way, I have one device at least. You know, the bad part about it when it linked up iPhone stuff and I, I everything linked up. When one, when you call, you get a call on your phone. Everything starts buzzing at the same yes, time. Yes, it does. But uh, but but yeah, but you know, you can while your doctor bugging you, you can still look at Advance in the Kingdom yep. with your tablet, and you can call, you can answer the phone and talk to your doctor and hear the good report that he's about to give you. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> but yeah, we hey. we had an interesting conversation right hey, before I don't like my hair. we started. It, but I'm not gonna. We, okay. I'm not gonna go on that conversation. We'll just uh, we uh, we we have enough uh, enough crazy conversations as it is. But uh, but we're uh, giving uh, you yeah. a little time to get Especially on up in here. Spring. Happy spring, everybody! Too. Officially today, it's your head's fine. Today oh, is uh, today is the second. It's like the day and a half of spring because uh, we had like a, like the first a, 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 a first full, full day, day yeah. of spring because we yesterday in it. We in spring it. started at 11:33 a.m. And so, uh, so ever since yesterday, Sunday, eleven thirty-three a.m. Ever since yesterday. then, we've been in the new season of spring. Yeah. And so, since we are in the new season, uh, you know, you need to be excited because yes. I mean, I love the spring season. Yes. And so, this is a nice day. We're in Indianapolis, Indiana. Season. We got sun shininess all around us, right and uh, it's a nice day out today. So, uh, so you know, I pray that I'm you all are blessed wherever you are. And so, I'm let's get started. I think lot. we, you know, some of y'all got the notification that we. On. The driveway. I got the notification. So if I got the notification, yeah, I just I got, got the it. notification. Yeah. Huh? All right. Did well, get notification? <laughs> well, let's start out with something like this. You yeah. are who the Word of God says you are. You can do what the Word of God says you can do, and you can have what the Word of God says you can have. This is Paul and Tara Thompson, Thompson and, and you're, you're watching, watching Advancing, Advancing the, the Kingdom. Kingdom. Well, we're the pastors of Indy Harvest Church right here yeah. in the, as Bishop Tyson would say, the beautiful, 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 beautiful. city of Indianapolis. <laughs> Uh, and um, I miss Bishop. we would love if you in the live in the Indy area in the greater Indianapolis area. Uh, if you in the area, if you're visiting on a Sunday morning, then oh my 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 my, I was I was I was bombarded with cutting people hair yesterday. I, uh, yesterday evening and other stuff yeah. and I didn't get that a chance to put everything on YouTube like I wanted to but uh, I'm gonna do it today definitely you need to go to on. Paul and Todd Thompson on, on on YouTube and you need to check out yes to, uh, to uh, like like late later on the day you need to make sure you check out the church service from yesterday I'm going to put it up there because mm -hmm. I tell you what we had a Holy Ghost revival uh, 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 sh hanging from the chandeliers, uh, foot stomping, any, hand clapping, we hung from uh, old time we religion, light up there, everything down. type of service on yesterday. It was crazy. I, I did post. It a was clip. wonderful. It was good. It was a blessing. Uh, it was it's a divine OG. intervention for real. Yeah. God just said, "You know what? Hey, let me just mess y'all up." It was Ooh, so funny because did. everybody was dancing and shouting and jumping and going crazy. It started before when, with just the pre-service, but oh music. We, you know, we had the music going on, getting ready for service. Ah, you know, everybody so prophetess get, burns up here. She's like, "Yes, we did." Yeah, people getting happy and jumping and dancing and everything before. I then mean, my mom jump up dancing before the service ever started. I mean, it, it, we were what, trying to hold but, but it. But God was crazy. did it right. She, yeah, we, only you know, God can do. Yeah, you know, you it was, play I music. Mean, they had worship before. Just off, because, you know, we start while we're setting up and everything. Well, while y'all setting up, I do other stuff. Um, I try to help, but they fuss at me and stuff. Won't let me. Anyway, um, and uh, while they're working. So we play music. And so uh, Sabrina, our 15-year-old, she was the DJ yesterday. And so she was anointed yesterday. She was playing at music and uh, on the Bluetooth speaker. And uh, everybody got to worshiping while they were working, and then after a while they were sitting down and Worship still worshiping. Worship while you work instead of whistling dun, 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 while you work. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, they were worshiping, and then, then the praise was gone. I mean, it was just all. <laughs> It was just, it was crazy. It was like the episode of Martin. It was like, this whole thing, this whole party is crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how it was yesterday. I mean, from beginning, from pre until after service, even after the service was crazy. 
it was it was monumental it was it was magnanimous it was it was it was, it was okay. It was it was it, it, it was. was all that. So it was so all it was. That. That's the best way to say it, it was. was. It was. Um, it was. It, it was. And 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 so it if was. you're in oh, India, yes, the whole yes. reason we that came up is because I was trying to invite you to church. Yeah. That if you yes, are in go. the Indianapolis yeah. area on a Sunday morning, make your way right now. We're having our Sunday morning services at twenty nine twenty six East Washington Street at eleven a.m make way and be a part of the revival i mean having uh, come and have an at the well experience we were in revival 24 7 uh 365 you hear 24, me 24. And that, that's that's just that's just how it is we it's I'm supposed to be we need to keep a sign 20. we need to have a sign on that says open for revival oh 24 hours hey 24 uh 24 Producer, you got that one 24 right. 7 365 Open Message. for revival, boy. That means at any time there may be a demonstration of the power of God. Hey, at any time there may be a sign, a wonder, and there may be a miracle. A miracle. So I tell Are you, you, ready? you got to be ready for Are it at all times. So, so, um, so yeah. So just check us out. Also, real quick, go to out, go and check us out at every platform. Go and check and, and like and yes. share and and subscribe to everything Do that it. we got going on. To the Paul Do and Tar Thompson here on uh, on Facebook. Go to Indie Harvest. Go to our personal uh. Facebook Facebook pages, like us, follow us, connect, go to, uh, definitely help us with YouTube, uh, our YouTube page, uh, Paul and Tara Thompson, go up there and like it, subscribe it and be blessed in the name of the Lord. And we appreciate it. Stay connected, see what's going on. And also, we also want to remind you about being a kingdom advancer. Consider that, uh, about being a, um, a kingdom advancer. You'll be blessed. Um, now, uh, now, now you we we was we was wishing you, and we was uh, we was uh, giving you a good uh, a, a new season, a happy spring salutation. Yes. You know, this, we we're in a new season right now. You yes. know, not only spiritually, not just spiritual new season, but we're in a natural new season. We're in the, one of the four seasons. We're in a, we're in a new season, the spring season. In the spring season, everything everything's supposed to supposed to be changing. It's supposed to uh, it's supposed to go from looking uh, looking winter you know and looking cold now yeah. there's supposed to be things blossoming and things going forth and uh and 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 even in our own personal life right. god wants to change our season in yeah. your own personal life god wants to change your season you know the uh <clears throat> season change is not based on is not based on a situation season change is not based on uh is not based on just you know how how good is going or how bad is going season right. change is based on the word God changes seasons hey, based on his word. Glory. So when God begins to speak a new word to you, he shifts and he changes a season. Mm -hmm. And as, as we begin to step into this new season that God has for hey, us, glory. we have to remember that there is the word of God that creates the season. The word creates the season. The season don't create the events. The season don't create the miracles. The word create the miracles, signs and wonders that is going to happen in the season that you step in and accept yeah so what happens is not that you not confirming it's a new season because all things are uh, all things are turning up tulips and roses you that's confirm right. it's a new season because god oh, said it because god said a thing that's right and when god that's says right. a thing and when god says it's time for you to begin to shift and think and re uh rethink some things and and and, and, and get a new paradigm on this thing and realize that there's a that there's a renewing that there's a, a newness a shift a new season that right there is the time when God starts speaking prosperity blessings when God yes. starts speaking uh, uh, overflow um, yes. get you blessed to be a blessing yes. even if you're going through stuff in your finances yes. even if you're going through stuff in your body even if you're going through stuff in any other way never let a situation make you doubt the seasons you're in never yes. I, and sometimes now sometimes real quick before we get on before we uh, before we go and get on anything else um I, I i we have too many times that we just uh you know and, and, and it's real churchy to say you know god is shifting your season yeah it's real churchy to say, yeah, it is. you know, it God, is. oh, God's shifting that season. This mm -hmm. is a new season for you. Yeah. Now, this is a new season naturally. It's spring, yes, yes. and so and so. But but I believe your new season is based on revelation. 
Yeah. I don't believe yeah. God has yeah. a new season it's for you. Like, okay, just this time and this time. I right. believe based on revelation also. Based on revelation it's and good. yes, the it's timing good. of God. But I believe revelation opens up new seasons. Yes. I believe that it's wow. not that not that just because uh, just because we like to say it in church. Uh, it's a new season. It's a new season. And, and, and it just sounds so cliche after a while. Yeah. But 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 I believe revelation begins yes. begins to change your season. Yeah. And we yes. say your season because we say it changes your scenery. And in other words, we got to use that word season because in that word season, it changes your expectation. Mm -hmm. It changes how you prepare. Because in wintertime, we prepare a certain way. We prepare springtime a certain way. Like like right now, it's, we're not buying big coats and, and sweaters and, and boots and, and stuff like that. Unless you're because they're on sale. Yeah, unless you're getting them on sale. Because the but, prices drop. But normally, Why right now, during this springtime, we are buying warmer things and we yeah. getting, now we're getting set up now and ready for summer. Now you put your stuff away. See, God unless brings in one in season Don't so you can get prepared for another season. Yes. And, and, and see, the season and things you've been through mm -hmm. in the past was to prepare you for what God has for you now. And so even the trouble and even the vexation and even the persecution you've been through in the past and before mm -hmm. and before this day has been preparing you for this day and for what God has for you. Mm -hmm. You know what you what you have a revelation of what is revealed to you and what you understand you can walk in, mm -hmm. you can possess, you can uh, you can have manifestation of you can hold on to. Mm -hmm. And so when you get that understanding, when you get that revelation, then you can have that, that new season, even though it may not look like another season, mm -hmm. even though it may still look the same as it did yesterday, may feel the same as it did. Nothing might not look or sound any different. You might feel the same. You might, everything might still seem the same in your life, but yet you got a revelation because you got a word, you receive that. So you have an understanding that I don't have to wait until it looks different, feels different or anything. I got a word. I have an understanding of something. So I perceive that something has changed. Therefore, I know something is different. So I'm not waiting for for outside things. See, I'm not going from the outside in. I go from the inside out. Well, so now I perceive that. So I grab a hold of it and I don't wait for it to tell me. I'm telling it I have a new season. So I'm walking in my new season. And that's the same way it is now. So although it doesn't look like anything might, you know, might, it doesn't necessarily look like, well, today looks like a spring day. It looks like, okay, the season is changing. But we know when we live here in the Midwest, like, you know, my Facebook post, I said, yeah, I, I live in uh, Indianapolis, Indiana. So I'm, I'm not putting away my coat and boots and stuff. No, they are still out. They will stay out until May um, because we know the weather can change. Yay, we may have snow. And a nice snowy day, we can have a blizzard living over up in, you know, up in here. And so uh, it doesn't, it can still be spring though, but it can look like winter. It can feel like winter, but it can still be spring. So you can have uh, situations and things that can seem contradictory to your season, mm -hmm. but it doesn't mean that it is not still that season. So you can't be moved by how something looks and how something uh, goes. So that's why we cannot, we cannot. And we say it over and over and over. You think, why do y'all keep saying the same stuff? Because we need to say the same things. Because um, you need to hear the same thing. Because the same situations keep happening. But yet other people are being added on and being added into. It. And you've got to hear those things over and over and over. Yeah, you see how I do that? you got to hear it over and over again. That these things don't change. It's going to always I'll happen. I'll tell you why we got to tell you the same thing over and over again. Because you act like you can't hear. <laughs> That's why. You act like you know. You act say the same. Like you know. Because, you know, the thing about it is church folks act like we can't listen. It's like can't My hear. My God. I was saying that this church yesterday. church attention deficit. Now, new season stuff and all of this that we're talking about is, is just <laughs> remember this. Because, because. God bless you, Brother un Massey. Unless you, unless you learn to really walk by faith. And yeah, not walk by religion. See, uh, see, when you walk by religion and you walk by uh, just by by a bunch of tradition and a bunch of uh, and a bunch of bu and a bunch of churchiness, uh -huh. you get into Church. a place to where you can't really enjoy what God wants to do because 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 God, what God is doing Ooh. in this, that what God is doing in this is in this new season, right if you now, want to call it. Time. What God is doing now in this mm. time, it, he, it's not for the churchy. 
It's, no, not for, it's, it not not. For, it's not for the religious. Oh, my he, he's doing something. It's a kingdom thing. It's a kingdom move that yeah. God is doing. It's and a kingdom thing. we don't say thing. that as a cliche. And, and, the, and, and the thing that, that, that this is about it is God is tired, and, and God is tired of it. I know he is because <laughs> he's tired of he tired, he's tired of a bunch of he's tired of a bunch of spoiled oh. church folk oh. that want to sit up and oh. try to control the pastor and the church. By their and manipulate oh. him or her by their feelings and by their uh and by oh. their disgruntledness oh. and about oh. a bunch of all that mess. Oh. He's tired of a bunch Come of church on, yeah. Jezebels oh. up in the church doing oh. stuff. God is ready. He's ready for mm. he's ready for a remnant oh. of new type of believers to rise up and to step it. into this newness Thumbs of up. uh Thumbs this up. newness of of, of, <laughs> of this season, this newness of time that Thumbs we're in. Up. This is a newness of time that we're in that just the churchy is not you're not gonna make it in being churchy just like with COVID COVID proved the churchy oh, not gonna make it oh, you're not gonna hmm. make it just being churchy and just oh, being plastic oh, and God. just being uh just oh. being any old type of way no 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 you gotta have more than the relationship with Ooh. your pastor you gotta have more oh. than just uh oh. you know, just knowing their name and just just Come being able to now. go around them or hang and out with them the and shake, you, gotta, you gotta have more than that you gotta have an experience see now I'm to the point as see is in this in this Ooh. time we gotta look at things differently Come on. watch this uh, uh god says this in isaiah 43 and 19 just to read a scripture for you mm. oh yeah that, behold that. i will do a new thing yeah, behold. behold i will do a new thing see Look this is it. a new Look season and god out. is doing a new thing yes, yes now is. it shall spring forth in yeah. spring huh now <laughs> it shall spring forth <laughs> ah, spring shall you forth. not know it he says shall you not know it he says Ooh. why he says you you, you you won't even know he says I, you shall you not know it that you know god does us something new and it you can tell the people that's not on his oh. timeline and that's not on the same frequency oh. because God is doing God's something new, timeline. but you're still trying to act Check like you're still trying face. to stay in what was old. You just you still trying to stay. Uh, uh, you still trying to stay churchy and, and be oh. and be like it like, like it was. Uh, before COVID and a lot of other stuff happened. Uh, we're in a new time now. Yeah, we're in we a are. new season now. We're in a new season that if you don't have a relationship with God yourself, you're not going to be able to make it because you can't always make it to church. What if something happened that you can't make it to church now? You can't You can't make it there and you got to be able to have a relationship with God on your own. You got to be on fire for God, period. You can't just, Sir. it can't be based on a, your favorite song. It can't be based hey. on just because all of a sudden they said you're, they did your, your, your good bump it can't be because all of a Boom. sudden you know all of a sudden they got all they the got names. some they got some nice Stop. they got some nice little sayings and slogans or uh, the preacher you know humming and tuning it's not you can't you can't have no fire and excitement because of that no more you got to learn how to have fire in your belly like jeremiah even yes. when he wanted to be discouraged even when he wanted to quit there was a yes. fire in his belly that he yes. could not extinguish that kept him going no matter what because when you can't make it to church when church services decrease because say there is an outbreak or or everybody's they start getting COVID every time or you know I, it's, it's in just in case it happens again uh -huh. yeah. you got to be able to stay on fire whether you can make it to the house of God or not because you have to have connection yourself with God and we have too many man be pan be uh, ah, willy nilly uh, 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 church, church church people mm -hmm. I ain't saying saints I'm gonna say church people that 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 are that, that are that are too busy trying to be Jezebel and trying to grow their ministry yes. and do their own thing and get in front of the preachers and get in front of the pastors the pastors not God the pastors yeah. can't do nothing for you other than that which God permit them to do you got to begin to be on fire and you have to realize this is a new season we're living in that we got to we got to know God for ourselves yeah and so you so if you don't know what God is doing you'll be running around you'll Whoop. be running around still thinking you walking around with a little tight suit on doing a little you know popping your butt in the air church bump <laughs> like you know doing the lines and ooh, 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 and everything and and and, and, and that's not what that, that's that, that yeah. And, and you stuck in that mold and stuck in that season. And yeah. I, I, I know for a fact, I, you know, we believe in dancing and shouting come and on, jumping and on, everything. But but the whole thing about it is, the, the whole thing about the way things were done just a 
a few years ago yeah. is not how things are being it's done not. now. It's you not. have to begin to connect, oh. uh, and you have to begin to connect. Listen to this in a real way. Oh. You need real faith. You're not just church faith. Oh. Not just being churchy. My you need God, to have today. real faith, real connection God, that lasts on today. Monday all the way back through Sunday. And so he says, it's a new thing. It's springing forth now. And listen to what he says. He says, uh, I would do a new thing. Well, my, what did I say? Isaiah 40, 43. Okay, I, I, I done got all messed up. Uh, 43, 19. He says, even, he says, I will even make a, uh, make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So he said, even when it look, even when it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look um, uh, uh, profitable, when it doesn't look like it's a new season, when it doesn't look like it's a new thing. If you stand on my word and you believe me for this new thing and you believe me for what I'm doing, I will make a way in the wilderness when it's, where there's no path, where there's no sidewalks, where there's nothing, oh. where there's no highways. He said, I, he said, I will make, he says, I will even, he says, I will uh, make a way in the wilderness and I will, he says, I will make rivers in the desert. Yes. Yes. I, I will give you an oasis in the midst of your dry in, in the places that's dry. Uh -huh. And so God wants to cause, God wants to make highways and ways in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. So God wants to make a cut a path for you in this season. In this season, Glory there's God. a way for you to get to where God has called you to go. I know it looks, I, I know it looks kind of, it looks kind of, you know, you know, you've been in the forest before you've been out there, yeah. uh, you know, in, in, out there in the I've woods in and you can't see, you got to use uh -huh. your compass to try to figure out where you are. But God says, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a trail. I'm going to make a highway right in the middle of the wilderness. Woo. What I'm going to do is in this, in this dry season you in, I'm going to moisten it up for, for you real good. And I'm going to make oh. river, not a river, but I'm going to make rivers. Yes. yes, Lord. I'm I'm going to give you, I'm going to give multiple in, uh, multiple income streams in the midst of your dry money place. Some of y'all have been dry money wise. And that's one thing I believe for all the time. Multiple income streams. God says, I'm going to give you multiple income streams. I'm going to, I'm going to make a way for your business. I'm going to make a way for that thing. Okay. You talk. I, I've been doing that talking. Go, just go, 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 go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you got to flow. flow. Hold on, hold on. Jesus, Glory. Jesus. This is that time though. This is that time. It, during these times, this is what God is doing, that God is, is causing rivers in the and desert. And it's not for the churchy. That's right. It's it's not for the church. No, the churchy it, Jezebels, all y'all can <laughs> all y'all gonna do is uh, be able to propagate uh, more religion. Ah! Uh, but God is God. God is exposing and God hey, is raising hey. up the a remnant of people that are that's ready, that's ready, mm. that's ready for the new thing God is doing in yes. this earth. Yes. It's a new thing hey, God is doing God. in this earth. Jesus is coming back soon and God doesn't have time. He's doing a new thing. Yes, it's he is. not yes. about churchy yes. uh uh, it's not about church edifices and, and a bunch of it's other not. mess. It's about going out, getting the one, going out, getting souls. Mm -hmm. It's about going to the highways. I was today going to talk about the, uh -huh, the, the, uh -huh. the, 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 the wedding feast and, and uh -huh, how, you know, uh -huh. he, he invited all the prominent people, but they ain't come. Uh -huh. So God, so the king said, go to the highways <laughs> yeah. and get them uh -huh. because many are, many are called, but few are chosen. This is the time that, this uh, this is the time that God, the chosen is the about chosen. to, is about the to chosen. stand up. The chosen yes. is about to ah! rise up. The chosen. Is about to be because the chosen God. isn't the little nice little old Christians uh -huh. that just wanna that just wanna have a ministry and wanna Come find on. a church that they can do their ministry and do their thing in. But the chosen are those that show up where God called them to be and That's get right. set and get placed, and they show up and they show up submitted and ready. And God says, "I can use that chosen one. I can use that's the right. ones that's chosen. The chosen are the ones that show up. Yeah, they yes. show up to the yes. prayer meeting. They show yes. up to." To uh to volunteer, they show up to do. Yes. Uh, okay, I'm doing all the talk. Yes. Yeah, you were talking. But see, the chosen when you're chosen, you don't mind. You don't need uh, a, a perfect pulpit. You don't need actually. You don't need an invitation. The street is is your pulpit. Everything is an invitation. Yeah. You don't wait to be invited. You just go. You know, you didn't come to take sides. You just come to take over. See, that's what happens in kingdom. You go where there is an opportunity. You understand that the church is not inside four walls, that out there is the church. You go out there to the lost. 
You understand that there's more out there to be won than there are that have already been won. That there is too much work to be done than there is instead of, uh, like, I, I think about you. I think about, I think about my husband. I think about Dr. Dr. PDT right here. He never was the type of person that he never liked jobs where you had to sit and wait for people to come. Well, first of all, he never liked jobs, <laughs> just over broke situations. He never liked stuff like that. Uh, but he, 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 he never was the type of person where he wanted something where you had to sit and wait for people to come to you to bring the money to you where you had to sit there and wait to get paid. Yeah, he always liked where you go out and you if make your money. Job, you go so he it. always wanted where you go determine your own income, where you go and get your money. Got me in and, trouble too, but it, hey, it helped out. <laughs> Yeah, hey, brought in a thousand dollars a week at times. Yes, but then I, other I night, like other the night, Lord. Amen. I, I remember. Got, it helped me get yes, called a nigga. It helped me get called, <laughs> helped me get a gun. Get me a gun shot. You know. Yeah, I mean all kinds of stuff. Because I'm out there we, knocking on doors, all the big black man and, and, and nothing but white areas, oh, boy, yes. in Ohio. Do no make. But I was making the money, boy. Yeah. And then, boy, the, hey, the white, white, he, white, 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 white. Well, the white folks loved me too. It, it was fierce. I, no, I always said but I was. His said, confession was everybody loved me. Even the KKK loved me. If you if you a part of the KKK, you love me. You can't help but to love me That's look it. at you you want to send me money all you got to go to the outcast shop and send me some money That's i know it. you want to you gonna be sending me. i don't know why i'm sending that black man some money i just love him if you, you, you listen no matter man, who you are you can't help Come but on. to love me Come and on. because she with me you can't help but to love us That's it. You, you didn't love us and if you try to curse That's us it. we we're uncursable That's we're it. uncursable we're unhexable yeah it bounces off of us and it sticks to you so we're you rubber you're glue whatever you come and try to hex on us whatever you come and spell you try to put on us it bounces off of us and it sticks to you uh-huh so you better watch out because the weapon you call the weapon you throw is the weapon you gonna get assaulted by oh. and we ain't gonna do it by it but vengeance That's is mine right. say it Says below the Lord. i don't know why i said that but Wherever i just said right, it he'll pay but i said it messing around what about uh going out that? knocking the doors about the opportunity yeah because you but gotta go you gotta you know i, I was yeah. uh not, not you go running. out and you make you make so you an opportunity, point, you yeah, make I, that I, thing I, happen. Yeah, and so that's the type of person you always were. And that's the same way it is for ministry. We've never been the type of people to just sit and wait for people to come in to a church building. So we well, are those type God of people that God wasn't you, this you know, type of were, God to wait well, for people to get saved. He, he came. Of his the name Bible is says God. he came to seek and to save which was lost. Yes. So he came to seek and save which was lost. That's, so that's so it. so your 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 platform is not just to show up at church yes. and try to do your ministry only. I always right. say when it comes down to it, uh, you got to watch out. That's why I. That's why who. That's why. Uh, that's why is nothing is nothing like freshly saved folk. <sighs> it's nothing like. Oh, fresh, so it's nothing things. like a freshly saved prostitute, ah. a freshly saved pimp, a freshly saved uh, murderer, anybody that's freshly, oh, I mean, anybody. just freshly saved, you, right you know, freshly face. saved person, just yeah. freshly, yeah, or did, other than that, there's nothing wonderful, there's nothing more wonderful, more wonderful, uh, more, more wonderful than a freshly saved, converted, oh, a freshly a uh, baptized in the Holy Ghost Presbyterian person, oh, or no. like a Catholic that that's got baptized in the Holy it. Ghost. Oh. It's nothing. It's nothing <laughs> like that. It's like biting into an apple that all the juices oh, start yes. flowing out Ooh. when you see those type Good of folks watermelon. come saved and uh, glad, become yeah. saved and delivered so and get the Holy Ghost because he who get forgiven for much love yes, much. They love it much. See, we're trying to grow. Mm. We're trying to. We're talking about growing the kingdom, but many a times we're not growing the kingdom. We're just transferring. We just we got come a bunch on. of church transfer. We just, yeah. And God is ready for us in this, in, this, in this new season, this new time that Come we're in. On. He's ready for us to increase the kingdom. Yeah. See, he says, I bless you so yes. you can be a blessing. See, out the whole thing is we did that series anointed. We are anointed just not just for us. See, the anointing on you is not so you can go around, lay yourself, lay right. your hands on yourself and just, just, just do that. Have the no, no, no. Not, not just so you can uh, have a have a uh, have uh, get gifts of healings and 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 gifts flowing in your life at the house no 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 the the <laughs> anointing on us the anointing on you the anointing on people is for other people yes see you are it's anointed for, for others mm -hmm. so in this time that we're living in now it's time for us to stop focusing just on the four walls the four walls instead of us focusing in on the four walls to just protect what we have we need uh, to begin to uh, make the four walls open 
so that we can begin to receive in the mm -hmm. part of the four walls of the church that we need to My. work on is we need to work on you know because back in the day it was always you know church for attention church for attention yes you always want retention however we want welcoming however. we need now to begin to go and open the doors and uh and, and, and begin to prepare for company and prepare yeah. for guests and to go out there and begin to that go to the highways and to buy and the byways god is ready for some new converts yes god yes. is ready for some fresh meat yeah. and begin to bring people yeah. in that, that 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 we now get them saved and we now get them taught get them trained mm -hmm. and now you learn to be a discipler instead yes. of just a disciple now it's time for us to train them and retain them in the kingdom of yes. god and and build them up and teach them and then take them forth yes, yes. we got to focus on the local church so that we can try get them in saved and trained yes. but then but, but then we can't just stop there right. the whole purpose is because you want to train them yeah. and raise them up that 3D. so they can go back out there yes. and they, they can go and win souls you yes. want to bring them in broke busted and disgusted mm. teach them about money teach them about how to do this thing and then they go out and they start businesses they begin to hire people that was in the situation they were in That's right. and they begin to become a discipler yes. see we have so gee, the bible says this in the time we should have been teaching we need mm. to be taught again ah. and, and, and see we 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 we, we get to that place to where That's we uh what you were talking about the other day yeah you got you got you got god you says go back to the it's basics. time for you to be a teacher it's time for you to be a discipler mm -hmm. it's time for you to be an encourager it's time for you to encourage other people but we get stuck wanting to be encouraged mm -hmm. needing to be encouraged all the time what and yes me? but if what what if <laughs> you get your me. daily dose of that holy ghost every day mm. i mean if you if you you you, you need to learn the ghost. you know you need to learn That's to get in the word yourself every day you need to learn how to get up yes. in the word and get up in the mirror and encourage yourself every day every day you need to stand up and you need to declare who you are in god you need to declare who god is in your life every yes. day you need to begin to encourage yourself and a many a times Why does we the world get dry know? we get but, dead but and, and disgusted does. and we get bored and and, and and mundane in the kingdom because yes. we do not we do not encourage our own selves we, we do, do not the de daily time of mm -hmm. prayer and devotion and we wonder why i'm burnt out i'm all ooh, i don't know what's going on in my life because you're not praying you're not in the word you not confessing mm -hmm. you just waking up and going through and you just going through the motions but you got to make sure you keep I fresh rhema fresh, fresh 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 rhema fresh you don't have to wait for the preacher i don't know what i'm talking about today y'all you don't have to wait for it's the fresh preacher. Rhema. you don't have to wait for the uh for the choir so you don't have to wait for sunday morning you begin to be a prophet in your life and the priest yes. in your life and begin to stand up uh, uh stand up against the devil stand up against depression stand up yes. against that adversary stand up against the things you're going through and begin to learn to overcome that thing by the word of god and realize that just like with david david said that he had to encourage himself yeah in the lord you can't wait for everybody else we're, we're, but when you learn see when you learn to water others you yourself shall be watered Come on now. and yeah. when you learn yeah. to water others see some of us we get so selfish yeah. that we be like i need a word I need it. And the thing about it is we all need a word. Yeah. But the thing about it, you should be getting the word daily. Yes. You you see, you got this word, you got word. You should be getting this word. But our problem is instead of us getting the word, we going by our way. And we just want we 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 get we going through through our situations. Mm -hmm. And instead of us taking time and getting in this word to get a word, yeah. to get some fresh encouragement to encourage ourselves in the Lord yeah. that I, I get into you get in this word and Lord your word says that I'm this I, your word says that I'm this yeah. your word says that I'm that yo and just stand on that word mm -hmm. and you get to that daily dose of encouragement yeah and you begin and you'll begin ah, to grow glory. and you'll begin to be strong and then what you get from other people glory. and what you get from your pastors will not be the main source of your strength Woo! Many of us don't are not strong because our main source of strength and food in the in our spirit is coming from our Sunday morning services. Yes. It's coming from our leadership and not coming from our daily dose. It's not it's 
not we don't have three squares a day of the word. Right. We don't have three. We we not we're not we're not getting our our full uh, dose of, of prayer and, right. and 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 and, de and, and, and devotion during the daytime. And if most people tell the truth, they're showing up on Sunday mornings for uh for a cold snack. And yeah, and then they're not even getting then, a hot serve. But meal, then you got to fight through meal. all of the mess. That oh, go on. Oh my goodness! You, by the time you get to something, yeah, you know, it, 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 you got to all the other all things other that are not even necessary. All the things that it, it, it doesn't even matter. I just want what matters. I just yeah. want what what I came for. What what is supposed to be? Can we just do what is necessary? Can we just get to what what we need? Can we can we just can we just be focused on the assignment? Can we just do the assignment? So now you got, you go to church. Church nowadays, it, it is not for the week. We but, need to understand but the, by the time, assignment. You know, that's the saying. By the time you go to, but by the time assignment. you go to church. Do we really? But I mean, but even if you don't know about all the assignment, all this stuff, because everybody say this type of stuff, guess what? You should be on fire enough to one, get people saved. Yes, yes. After yes. a while, because then people, sometimes I don't even like saying assignment because some people then they get, they get, I mean, I got to find my assignment. And then you get no, caught I'm up. No, I'm saying there's no, a, there's no, a saying, get, there's no, a no, cliche get caught, about, People you get know, caught up, you get caught up on the, on the little stuff like my assignment. And, and we get caught up on that. And instead of realizing your assignment is in, is in your everyday <laughs> life. Yeah. Your assignment, yeah. your, 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 you know what, when you woke up, you just got assigned. Mm -hmm. you you know when you woke up you had that's your assignment to live your day in victory yes your assignment that day is to live your day in that word yes your assignment that day that's but it. if if but if you don't but if you get up and and get up and all you do is go if through the don't. motions mm -hmm. you're not doing anything that you're not doing anything to build yourself up and and in this that's new it. season that God wants for us y'all share this. and God has for us is a, is a season yes. where is a season where he wants us to grow and mature in him because yes. we got the you got the war you got war going on we got all this other stuff going on around us but you need to make yes. sure that you are growing daily yeah. you need to make sure you realize yeah. that even uh, mm -hmm. that in your everyday life that you play a part and that God is shifting things and, and, and doing a new thing uh, he said it he said I'm doing a new thing and the spring yes. is springing forth now yeah. he says you need to know that he says, I'm, I, he says, I'm what I'm doing is I'm making ways in the wilderness and yes. rivers in the desert. Yeah. So I'm making ways and I'm bringing provision. And, and, and in the uh, while, while gas prices are skyrocketing, <laughs> while food prices are going up, yeah. while all these prices are going Everything. up, instead of us being caught up in the in the mo in just the motions of going to church and being churchy and dealing with all the stuff that we said why don't we now begin to rise up and begin to uh begin to stand up as a kingdom citizen yeah and let's begin to go forth and let's begin to uh and let's begin to exercise our faith and believe god that as we go through this in this last day that we're living in that we go through and live in victory that we live in joy that we uh that we go forth living the way God wants us to live experiencing what God wants us to experience and and growing in what God wants us to grow in and when you live like that you you position yourself what we should have did was I should have you should because some people need a divine intervention but but uh but but the, what you do is when you live like that you position yourself to receive what God has for you you position yourself on a daily basis some of our, our problems is this is that we're not consistent in our in our life in the way we live therefore uh therefore therefore we have those gaps and uh and remember seed time and harvest and and and, and many a times we'll go and we'll be doing good we'll be doing good for a while then we'll get off track yes. you'll be going fine then you yes. get off track and then you wonder what's yeah. going on and right. then you got to wait and get back on track and then something and then go yeah. keep on going but you get off track and you get off your faith you get off your confession you get off and you're yep. trying to figure out man what's going on that's because you got off now you got to get back on but when you stay steady Right. When you stay steady, you open up the door for miracles. You open up the door for the uh, for for daily intervention. You open up the door for the, the daily divine intervention. You open it up, up the door to live extraordinary in your everyday life. Mm -hmm. But you got to start. You got to start by by beginning to get a new way of thinking about these things. Yeah. You got to shift in this thing. You got to shift. Mm -hmm. There's a new way of thinking. There's a new yes. way of thinking in this new yes. season. Yes. And it's not the old churchy. Not. way 
that we have been living and in, 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 in the past. Stop trying to revive uh -huh. that old dead thing. What God has, God is trying to revive you. He's not trying to revive. <laughs> it's like using some spell. Yeah. Uh, like Craig Moore Seinfeld. <laughs> He's not trying to revive an old way. He's trying to revive you. He wants to revive your spirit so you can live again. Um, uh, the old stuff, let, that, let some of that old stuff, just let it go. Just get over it. It's, your it's uncle done. is up here. My uncle. Hey, my uncle. I love my uncle. I need to see my uncle. Uncle, uncle William I need to see you. Um, so either you need to come to me or I need to come to you, but I need to see you. But um, uh, yeah, so God is, is doing some awesome things. This is not the time of the old stuff. If, if you still, if you look, I'm telling y'all, this is one of the most exciting times in Christianity that I have ever known. This is like, this is, this is crazy. It is time to be, it, if you are not excited, you need to get excited. God is doing wonderful, wonderful things. Um, um, if you're just down and sad, you need to get around some people. You're around the wrong people. You need to get around people that are excited. Find out what's going on because you're around the wrong folks. Um, but uh, it is a time that souls are being, are being won. Um, all these different things that have happened in the last few years, it's been a lot of house cleaning and a lot of moving things out of the way. You know that joke, um, my mom always liked that joke about how um, the man came in the church with the, uh, with the gun and said, you know, everybody that's confessing, you know, professing the name of Jesus, I'm a, you know, I'm a shoot you or whatever. And, you know, and so everybody, a bunch of them ran out and then only a few people stayed. And then uh, the guy sat down and said, okay, now you can preach, Reverend. And uh, all the fakers are gone. Well, pretty much it seems like that's a lot of what has happened. A lot of the fakers are gone. And now those that are for real are who, who are in there. Everybody that wants to stay is who has stayed, who has remained. And uh, so it's, it's there. Those that don't care whether you got on a suit or not. The ones that don't care whether you got a chandelier or not. Those that don't care if you're in a in a beautiful edifice or if you're in a I little. I forgot about suits little, already. I mean, nobody wears suits anymore. <laughs> I was surprised you know, when I saw Pastor Parsons with a suit on yesterday. Yeah, I was like, hey, was like, that's like, how you oh, look in a suit oh, yeah, again. A suit. I forget. Yeah, but, uh, we did used to wear suits, it's, didn't we? It's it's you know it's just about the the basics and it's and that's why I love I love you know home church. I love their 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 the motto the theme love God love people. It's you know it's forget all of the 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 deep things. It's just like our whole thing is you know it's just 3D. It's everything you get back to the get to the basics. And it's time to strip down all of the stuff when you get rid of all of the the pomp and circumstance, all of the fanfare. If you if it doesn't get down to the word then if there's nothing if there's no word, you're in trouble. When we strip down to everything, there was word. There's always been word because that's what we built on. And so this is, I'm telling you, this is a great time in the kingdom. We ready to go. We got stuff to do. You got to get on board with us. Get on board with us. I know there's more to be said, more to be done. So go on, say what you got to say. No, it's more, well, we got to stop. That's what we got to do. Uh, <laughs> we've been ranting long enough. But, oh. um, uh, you know, I... I, you know, my, my, I wasn't structured like I like to be, but uh, but we said uh, we we said I think we had a divine uh, intervention this morning. We said, uh, you know, yeah, I like my problem is I like the structure, but I like to have structured teaching and preaching, mm -hmm. and he likes uh, you know, it's not, I like to be structured with that way. You know, you know how to title it. You know what's being for said. For him to be, for you to be so structured, you're such a wild man. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I like you know, I, I feel like you know, sometimes sometimes you shotgun it by the Holy Ghost, and yeah. it feel like it was like a, like a Holy Ghost shotgun that type of situation. But um, but but <laughs> for whatever. It's funny what you just did. But no, nah, for what, what for whatever part was for you, take it. Right. Whatever part take or it. whatever you said was for you, take it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, take it, take it. So, but uh, we're gonna get ready to go. But the thing that I want to I want to stress, I want to make this thing personal to you, you in this way. Much. For the thousands and thousands that will see this from today to to next week, 
I want to I want to stress this out. I want to stress this area to you, this thing right here to you, mm-hmm. and that is this because sometimes, yeah, we you say all the all the all the uh, banter about this and that, Jezebel, all these other churchy, don't mm-hmm. be churchy. It's not time to go assignment, all the type of stuff. But it comes down to honestly, it's sad to say, but just ah, it's true. That it comes down to you wondering, you know, what God gonna do for me? What about me? Yeah. And one thing that I do want to. Say that God has is, is show, showed us in the scriptures here yeah. in Isaiah 43, 19. One thing he said, he says, I will make a way in the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. So that means that means in this That's season that we that, that this new season that we're in, God is going to make a way in areas that seem like it was no way in yeah. areas where there was where there was obstacles, where there were uh, people, you know, w- uh, wilderness trees always represent people. Yeah. And yeah. so where there was obstacles of people, where there was obstacles yes. of things, where there was uh, where there was clutter and a bunch of mess and you didn't know what's up, don't know what to do. Mm. God says, I am going to make a way in the midst of the people that's been blocking you. I'm going to move them out of the way. I'm going to move situations out of the way. I'm going to move things up out of the way. I'm telling you, God says, I'm, I am going to make a way. As a matter of fact, he is the way, the truth and the light. That's yes. I mean, Jesus is the way. But he says, I will make, he says, I will make a way in the wilderness. Mm-hmm. So you may seem like you've been in the wilderness for, uh, for a few months or so. You may feel like this whole year has been a wilderness <laughs> experience. If you've been feeling like, feeling as if you've been in the wilderness wilderness uh is 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 synonymous to wandering or wandering is synonymous to the Mm -hmm. wilderness if you feel like you've been wandering and been in the wilderness if you feel like there have been obstacles of people and things around you i'm telling you god says in this season that we're stepping into you receive that new season that we're stepping into because then in the new season as you receive it that's going to cause a way to be made in the midst of the wilderness don't look for the way first just receive Receive the season. Receive what God Ooh. is saying. Once you receive the word, then signs and mm-hmm. wonders follow. So you stand on the word and the signs and the wonders of what the word says will cause demonstration and will show up in yeah. your life. So you don't get discouraged, but stand on that word yeah. that this is a season where God is making a way for you when in, the, in, in that wilderness situation you've been through. Whatever it may be, however it's described for you, God is making a way in that wilderness. And not only that, that. Lastly, he says, "I will, and I will, uh, I will even make rivers in the desert." So that means rivers in the desert. Number one, he says, not river, but rivers, rivers. Plural. plural. That means, uh, I, and so yes, listen, sir, that I means it. there's going to be multiple way, multiple, multiple, multiple streams, yes. multiple streams. And I love it because he didn't even say streams; he said rivers, 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 rivers get a supply from. Uh, don't rivers get their yeah. supply? From uh, from oceans, from those, yeah, and and yes, and God, yes. the ocean of His uh, hey. His provision, the ocean of it's His anointing, the ocean, uh, the ocean of His abundance. He yes. says, "I'm going to cause rivers to pull up out of the ocean of my of my uh, of my abundance. I'm going I'm I'm going I'm going to cause rivers to flow. I'm rivers, rivers, rivers. So I so God wants you to believe Him for it for multiple streams of income. Believe Him for uh for for opportunities. Believe Believe yes. him for um for 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 things uh popping up for you. Believe him, I'm telling you, for the things, mm-hmm. the opportunities, the multiple streams of income. I'm it's yeah. time out for us. Yeah. I, yeah. I gotta figure out should I do this or this? Mm-hmm. No, it's uh, God wants you to have multiple opportunities to be like, man, okay, I got a I got a few options. God wants to it's open up your options, options in this season. You've been str- hey. you've been strained and you've been options. you've been all you've been all in the chokehold far too long. Mm-hmm. But and you've been in this dry place far too long. But God yeah. says, I am I am causing rivers. I am going to I'm going to make an oasis. I am going to supernaturally. Yes. Now listen, how does rivers get in the mm. desert? How does rivers get in the desert? How does rivers get in the Come desert? On, God says, I'm going to do this thing supernaturally. So how am I going to make rivers in the uh, in the in the uh-huh. in the uh, desert? I'm going to do it supernaturally. Yes. So you get ready for the supernatural. Uh, uh, supernatural provision for income streams, yes. 
supernatural provision for everything God has for you in this desert thing that you've been in, God says, get ready because the supernatural is going to manifest rivers in your life. Yes. It's going to manifest multiple streams of income. It's going to, it's going to manifest opportunities. It's going to manifest. You hear me? So get ready, get ready, get, 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 get ready. ready. It's not just one thing God doing, but God is doing some multiple things. So it's messy. You may, you may seem dry and you may have been seeming dry. Like God, I haven't heard from you in a while. I, I, I you know, I, it seemed like what's going on with this. And just like God do multiple streams of income, God will cause anointings to, to rise up in this season, yeah. anointings to rise up in hey, this time. Glory. So get ready for Mabai the opportunities Hashi, God have for you. Get ready for the things that God has for you in this season. Now glory is springing glory. forth. Receive it glory. in Jesus' glory. name. Glory, glory to God. And I also Hallelujah. hear that there's a word um, for of favor. And I know we, you know, we favor all the time. No, but yes, not but, favor, but, but favor. favors. <laughs> ah, multiple favors. Yeah, favors. Right here, but favors, as you say, favors mm -hmm. um, that are coming. But there are someone's eye. You're about to catch somebody's eye. Oh. Uh, amen. Well, since it's favors, then I guess that means then multiple eyes. Well, you but see the person you'll catch the person's eye, and then the eye will do you multiple favors. Amen. No, but I just said favors because I, I was. Just, that's, I was just, but that's how some some doors are about to be open. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna catch somebody's eye. Yeah, and 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 this, I mean, and however, and else. some some things that you you're not gonna have to do because somebody else is going to do certain things for you because you're going to catch their eyes so you're wondering how is this thing going to happen how shall this thing be and now this is in a in a different sense not in a in a reproductive sense but how you're wondering lord how is this thing going to be seeing that i don't know a man seeing how i don't know i don't know a person to get this done i don't qualify to get this done i don't have the means to get this done but god knows who knows how to get it done and so god knows how to connect you so you don't have to go out trying to make your way. God knows who to connect you to and how to get it done. Well, this hour has been gone. We've been up here. We've been coming up here wow. for an hour. I don't know how long we're supposed to come up here. I don't, I don't know, know how long we plan on coming up here. I don't know. But I think we should just do it like 30 minutes or something. Really that, way. that sounds impossible, but it's not, yeah. It's not impossible. It's just, <laughs> just you got to yeah, stay yeah. focused. I mean, I would be good but, with doing that, but that. But yeah. we gotta get up out of here, and we gotta great go. But uh, but but I want you to um, I want you to believe God, and and yes. uh, and and sow your seed today. Yes. We are we are we're Paul and Tara Thompson uh, Ministries here. We yeah. um, we really want your want your connection. We want you to connect. Yes. Really connect with us. Uh, if you are blessed by the ministry, if you're blessed by what we do. We want to um, offer the invitation of you being a kingdom advancer and partnering with us. Um, and what that simply means is that, you know, you'll be a blessing. You, you give once a month, you give once a week, however you want to do it, however if, how much you feel led to give. And, um, and you pray for us and you support us on our platforms as well as in person, you know, and, uh, and do all God tells you to do in our connection. No money comes from, you don't take, we, not, we don't want you to take money from your local church right. or your time or your, uh, or your energies from your local church. We just, when you're not with your local church and involved with your local church, we just ask you to support, to bless, and 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 giving and giving to us and uh, into the ministry. And um and what we do is we we gonna we gonna pray for you. We gonna believe God for you. We gonna constantly build your faith yes. up with stuff on social media and on all our platforms and whenever we can in person wherever we are we're going to try to make sure we always build you up in faith yes. and keep your faith up always. and of course like i said pray for you and then uh and and uh and then one one thing i think my wife she got all the emails now and i can send the, and send yeah, that I mean, out there everybody they come from different um, places y'all send them and different now ways, so. and now uh and we can do that and 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 that's that's the, uh, what we do you we are you're partnering with us and you and you take Take that carnal part, the financial part, and that you 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 pray and you stay right. on that part, and we take the priest part, the prophet part, and we get before God and we give you a word, and you take that word and you go obey it and go out there and you get the spoil and 
bring it and, and sow your seed in Jesus name. So if you're ready for that partnership of the priests and the king, the, uh, the, the priests, yeah, the, the kings and the priests, you're the king, we're the priests. We go before God, hear God, we speak a word to you. You go out and obey that word and do what God say do in the marketplace and you get the spoil and then you come back and you bring the tithe and you bring the offering uh, uh, to the house of God, to the priest or to or, or on your part, whatever you feel led for your covenant, uh, for your covenant uh, uh, partnership and, uh, and, 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 we, and we bring you in return more word so you can go out and get more harvest. So whatever you feel led to give, give. And so if you want to be that type of kingdom advancer, Call uh, uh, I would say call us uh, if you got a number call us and let us know yeah <laughs> but uh, but other than that inboxes up here on here on here inboxes on our uh, personal um, page inboxes wherever you want to and we'll get to it you can inbox us um, uh, and make sure just let us know hey I want to be a kingdom advancer my name is so and so and my email is this and 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 be a part of the army right, of Pam. God. Hey, Pam, Pam, be a be a kingdom advancer, Pam. And uh, and 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 hook up, and then you know we can and be a part of the army of God. So we got to get ready to go. Awesome. Um, the giving information is on the screen. Sow your seed today. Remember, Amen. God. I mean, some of y'all should sow sow an Isaiah forty three nineteen seed. What is an Isaiah forty three nineteen seed? That is this. I'm believing God to make a way in the wilderness, Amen. and I'm believing God to make rivers in the desert. Yeah. I'm believing for some supernatural especially if you believe for some income streams i'm Amen. telling you sow your seed today isaiah 43 19 seed oh, oh obey it sow it and be blessed listen share this with somebody go back and yes. listen to it yes. if you go back and listen to it listen to different stuff yes. and get built up you know turn yes. on turn it on clean up and listen to us put us on in your ear and be blessed in jesus <laughs> name i know we got short attention spans and we've been up here for a long time <laughs> we've been up here for an hour that's a long time for most folks so you watch know? it in segments yeah what most folks mean? that's so we're we gonna we're gonna we're gonna entertain it We'll change. We'll change it up for you because you know I'm serious. I'm serious. Folks, be like, hold on, oh Lord. I like, <laughs> but you go look at five hours of Batman. Come on now. You know, Batman be up there for five hours, and so we do our thing. We do our talk, but uh, but yeah, we are gonna work it out for you, and we gonna we gonna condense it for you a little bit. But other than that, take what you get, take what you like, enjoy it, and be blessed. Go watch by yesterday's so service. You see, watch yesterday's service, uh, and uh, on the end and, uh, and 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 do that. Connect on Facebook. Like it, share it, be uh, and subscribe. Yes. And other than that, we, we got to go and you. enjoy the rest of our day. You enjoy and rest. You enjoy the rest of your day. Yes. This is Paul and Tara Thompson, Thompson. And, and with God, God all, all things, things are possible. possible. Salud.